Hello, happy homebrew Wednesday everybody, hope you're all having a good week. Um, tonight I'm going to be doing a bit of a taste test on one of my beers. Um, it's actually not just one beer, it's going to be three beers. So, I've got number one, number two, and number three. Okay, so this is the dark lager. Never carbonated properly, so it's not really a taste test, it's more of a test of the carbonation than anything else. I've got three fairly identical glasses over here. I'm going to pop it just to see what happens. So, let's see, this is now in the bottle. This will be nine weeks today. This is in the bottle. So, if you recall, the reason I've got three glasses or three bottles is because. This is one I haven't done anything with at all. So this is the original. This one, I've been tipping upside down every now and again, trying to rouse the yeast, or the sediment, or whatever's left in the sediment anyway. And this one is the one that I crazily tried to recarbonate with the carbonation drops. So the question remains, which of these is gonna be the best? And have I ruined this one? This is the one I've recarbonated by uh, exposing it to her. I don't know. I haven't actually tried any of these yet, so I don't know. As I say, it's nine weeks in the bottle today, so and it seems like a good time to do it, so let's crack on. Fuck me, that's a big... <laughs> that's a good start. This is the one I've not done anything with. Maybe it's just because it's a pop top. It kind of exploded, but okay, this is looking good. Yeah, this is six point one percent this beer, so I probably should have just poured not quite so much, not quite a full glass. Okay, so as you can see, there's quite a number of bubbles around the bottom. This is a uh, non nuclear glass so yeah there's a few bubbles going up there it's not exactly raging but it's definitely definitely looks okay okay give it a nose yeah you've got that kind of that smell whatever it is I think I was talking about the last time it's okay I think it's mellowing out it has been nine weeks, as I say, so it should be alright. Let's give it a taste. <clears throat> There's definitely a bit of fizz on the tongue. It's not, it's not raging, as I said, but it's definitely there. It's m probably more than it was the last time, which was good few weeks ago now I suppose so yeah it's definitely in there okay let's crack the second one jeez how am I gonna if I put them all in the identical glasses how am I supposed to remember which one's which yeah they should be good okay so this is the this is the one that I've been tipping upside down Every now and again. I'm trying to be all scientific about this, but you know, come on, it's me. Okay, that's not quite as much of a violent pop as the last one, but Okay, there we go. With that one. the two of them together now obviously I've just poured this one but it looks pretty similar to be honest it looks pretty similar to the last one um so yeah I'm trying to remember what went into this it was I can't even remember now Peel Malt Munich 
Carafa 3, other stuff. Can't really remember. A lot of like Maze went in there as well. I think it was about a kilo, something like that. 750 grams, maybe. Yeah, okay, so it smells the same. I think there's more fizz off the first one. There's not an awful lot going on, to be honest. It is nice though. I have to say, it's definitely mellowing out. I mean, maybe if I left it the whole 12 weeks in the bottle, you know, like a proper lager. I mean, they haven't been lagering properly at all. It's just been in the brew, so whatever temperature that gets to, it's been up and down. Um, but yeah, it's not too bad. Let's see. Yeah, it's not actually. It feels like there's more fizz in the first one. <coughs> okay. So say this is six point one percent, so. I need to get into this before uh, the alcohol hits me. Oh, that's a big hiss. That's a big hiss, but I can't smoke off the top. It's already fizzing up here. This is looking good. This is already looking good. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that. This is the recarbonated one now. So I put, I think I put two carbonation drops into this. I opened it. Opened the bottle after a couple of weeks. Oh my god, yeah, it's definitely look. See, come from maybe it is nuclear with this glass because it all seems to be coming from the certain point at the bottom. Yep. Again, it's not region. So it's difficult to tell. But you can see it on the top. I think if I, yeah, I would have to say this one is definitely the, the most carbonated of the three. Sure, this is riveting for you watching me <laughs> look at beer. Yeah, terrific. It smells slightly different. Smells a bit like, like candy sweets or something like that. Don't know. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You can definitely taste it. Taste the fizz on that. I was worried that um, cracking the bottle open and then resealing it would maybe do something to beer, ruin it, or, you know, I don't know, oxidize it, or whatever, but, you know what, that tastes fine, it really does. That's definitely better. <clears throat> it's still not exactly, um, Looks more like wine than anything else, but yeah, so there you are. We have a winner. It's the recarbonated ones, who would have thought that? So what does that mean? Does that mean I go and recarbonate all the rest of the bottles or just leave it? Probably just leave it, to be honest. So yeah, so what else has been going on this week other than this? Um I have my English shield in uh, it's in next door. I have racked it today into a secondary fermenter. <clears throat> the foam on that, the croissant, was thick and I mean it it just wouldn't debate at all, so I hopes for it. Um, I did a brew day yesterday, or not yesterday, Friday. It's kind of going to be like a, a green the glass video. It's not really a green the glass because it's an extract. So uh, yeah, it's coffee stout version four. So um, 
yeah I'm just gonna keep that one in the back burner and then post it up in uh, maybe four or five weeks whenever it's ready to drink so You know what? Yeah, there's a real difference in that than the rest of them. And the difference that makes, you know, is that the kind of the, the taste that's in there, the sharp taste that I was going on about before, it actually kind of twists it around a bit, so it's not it's not quite as not noticeable, but it kind of changes it. It's almost like it gives it a a bit of a fruity taste to it, almost. You know, because of the fizz. Which is weird, but yeah, that's pretty good. Not so. So yeah, I'm gonna have to um finish these three bottles, and yeah, it's Sunday night. Um, spoiler alert, it's a uh, bank holiday tomorrow, bank holiday Monday, so. Yeah, um, I'm off. So yeah, we're partying tonight, or at least we're partying until I fall asleep. I was up at six o'clock this morning, so. So yeah, you know what? I'm just rambling now, so I'm gonna go. So, happy homebrew Wednesday, and I'll see you all next week.